Oh, hi, Nick. Hey, Stefan, you're right. Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. So, I mean, the character of Nate has gone down a different path to sort of as many fans might sort of expected. Were you surprised when you first found out? And when when do you find out? But when, is it when the scripts come in or are you sort of given a, a heads up in advance to kind of, by the way, Nate, this is what this is what we're thinking for next season? Yeah, it was that. It was, I mean, it was really early on, actually, when we were filming season one that Jason outlined uh, the broad sort of three season arc uh, for, for Nate. And um, so I, you know, so I've known for a, a very long time, like, since 2019 actually you know where it's headed and um uh you know obviously there's a lot of details that I, I wasn't privy to and 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 I would occasionally get like a heads up on you know whilst they were writing uh but then you know the, the key details were obviously then when I get sent the script and uh yeah but you know broadly speaking I knew so I wasn't I wasn't in too much of a shock but you know there were always little elements in there that surprised me and I'm like oh wow okay they're going there or they're going to do that or they're doing that in a particular way so yeah I you know when I get those, sent those scripts it's really exciting to kind of open them up and see uh, not just what Nate's doing actually what everyone's you know where everyone's headed yeah because I was interested because I mean, no one knows the character quite like you do now I think especially with a tv series it's long-standing they get to a point where the actors really take on that role I just wondered did you have any input at all in the character's kind of fate and I mean you mentioned about when you first get the scripts is that you said it's quite exciting. Is it ever quite nervy thinking, what have you guys done with me? <laughs> no, no, it's, I mean, because they're such a great team. I mean, you know, you, you know, there's, there's obviously an element of, of trust there, but by goodness, they've proven themselves to be the most in, impeccable writing team and, uh, and create, you know, creative team. So, and, you know, there is, there's an element of, um, we will always discuss things and if something didn't sit right. And, you know, there's definitely been conversations about, um, uh, you know, where to, my, my, my big thing was, well, making it, believable and not wanting to kind of peak too early in terms of I guess when in season two when Nate was sort of going to the dark side making sure that that felt believable enough so people were kind of hanging on at the very end hoping that he wasn't gonna you know go exactly where he did and obviously he does but only in by episode 12 and you know similar in season three I think we're joining him at such a, a, a weird point in his life you know this sort of pursuit for happiness but he's not he's not happy clearly and um there's a lot to come in this latter half of season three for Nate a lot of waking up <laughs> to happen without giving anything away so um uh yeah I, I I you know I get to chat to them about it and you know they'll take it away and you know they'll, they'll will often rewrite or they'll often rewrite scenes on the day and you know we'll rework stuff in the room on set so yeah you na you naturally have a hand in that um and and, that, and that's joyful that's re that's quite rare but it's really fun I'm getting kind of um because of the hair that, that that Nate has in this series. I'm getting mild Jose Mourinho vibes from yeah, that hair. That's fair. I was, <laughs> that's fair. I was wondering, do you, do you, I'm, not, I'm not not asking you to sort of name names or anything, but just because you're based in the world of football where there are so many personalities and so many people we sort of know so well. Have you ever used real life people to help craft your your role at all? Not with Nate, really. No. I mean, obviously the 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 Mourinho reference is is sort of there with the hair and and you know. I guess a slightly uh, maverick sort of m managing style, uh, but I think that's where the similarities end. I mean, I, not not necessarily from the world of football. I think you know I've tried to bring as much as sort of my um, my own sort of upbringing. I mean, to an extent, because I think Nate obviously makes a lot of poor decisions, and and I've not made those in in my life. Um, uh, when he's like massively overstepped the mark and he's being rude and so on. But, you know, just things like obsessing over social media and, you know, the thing, just things that just sort of naturally you kind of might sometimes find yourself sort of scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and realising what that, what that's doing. And um, so I've tried to, you know, al almost tried to use the show Ted Lasso as, you know, you know, the, the that be curious, not judgmental is, is such a great way to kind of like lead your life, to kind of, not to immediately judge someone and just to sort of think, okay, why are they behaving like they are? And, and you know, so many people could do that for Nate as well, I think, actually, rather than uh, uh, form their opinion of, of, of him, of, given his behaviour. But, you know, it's difficult because what he did was, was really bad. You mentioned sort of social media. I'm interested to know because it's quite fun and quite rare, actually, to interview actors kind of mid-season, which I really quite enjoy. Yeah. I mean, how have you been kind of interacting with fans about the season? Do you seek out fan reactions and stuff online or do you kind of no, take a step? No, I try and take a step back. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll when there's a new episode out, I'll, I'll share it and, you know, I'll have a, a quick look. But I, I, I realised at the end of season two, when I did then look, I was like, oh God, people really hate. And, you know, there are sadly some people who, who, who don't quite get that it's a character and I also don't write it. So, you know, it's not my fault <laughs> where where he's gone. So, you know, there's the odd, you know, 
bit of hate. And uh, but you, I, I realized that if I start scrolling, that's exactly what Nate and and you know it affecting me. That's exactly what happens to Nate. And so I I try try to to stay off it really. Um, but you know it's fun seeing everyone's little theories. And there's an, there's a there's a lot of people on there who are you know still hold a flame and hope that Nate might see see the light and uh, and come back to to Richmond. I can't comment on whether that happens or not, but you know, for, for other people, wh whatever he does in the future, it will not be enough to, you know, to make up for his betrayal at the end of season two. Well, if people do give the, the character that a shit online, it's a testament to your performance. I oh. think you've <laughs> thank you. such a good job, but thank you so much for your time today, Nick, and best of luck with the re remainder of the season. Great. Thank you very much. Cheers, Stefan. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey You Guys. <laughs> hey you guys! Hey, 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 that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!